MacBook Pro, iPad Pro, and now iPad Pro 9.7 inch. It is finally here guys, iPad Pro 9.7 inch version. This is the 128 gigabyte model in Wi-Fi. Uh, I will be trying out a 3G version eventually, but for now I've got the Wi-Fi edition. This is the iPad Pro that is going to let us use the Apple Pencil. It's got 4K video, it's got 60 frame per second HD video, it's got um, you know, I don't know if I said pencil already. Did I say pencil already? It's going to be compatible with the uh, smart keyboard. It's going to be compatible with all of these smart covers and uh, Apple silicon cases and things that you can buy. It's got a um, true tone display. It's going to like change the color depending on what the color of the light is in your room. It's got to have uh, an extra gamut, extra wide space colors. iPad Pro is going to be amazing and I'm going to unbox it for you today because it has just arrived. I'm so excited about this. So it's March 31st here in Japan, which means that I think technically uh, we're the first place in the world that gets it because with worldwide releases, um, we're GMT plus nine hours, which means <laughs> we get to go to the shops and buy this before everyone else. So I'm going to give you what I think is probably one of the first unboxings uh, on, you know, on release day of the iPad Pro and why I'm really particularly excited about this iPad Pro is that I've got, uh, you know, the iPad Air 2, and uh, I bought the original iPad on release day, but I believe that this is the iPad that I wanted six years ago, when the original iPad 1 came out. I thought I was going to be able to draw on it, and for six years, to be quite honest, it was a lackluster experience. But with this version of the iPad Pro, I can now use the Apple Pencil. Where is my Apple Pencil? <coughs> Sorry, so uh, <laughs> I uh, forgot the Apple Pencil, I was going to talk about it. Apple Pencil will work with iPad Pro. Let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy or bad girl or whatever, you know, gender you want your devices to be. So iPad Pro, I do love that when things get released worldwide on the same day uh, that we get it a little bit earlier in Japan just because uh, we're, you know, nine hours ahead of Britain and another, you know, eight, seven or eight hours ahead of you know, New York and uh, California and all that. So it says iPad Pro here on the side in gold. And on the front of the box you can see it looks just like an iPad Air 2, but it has that little bump for the camera, and I think the camera is actually going to be one of the most powerful aspects of the iPad Pro 9.7. Ah, it's so exciting. I think um, what I'm going to do is show you on the table here so that you can see the actual unboxing part of the iPad, because this is the, um, this is the experience that we all wait so long for. It's the the shimp part where the whole thing just kind of falls out the bottom. Here it comes. It's falling out. It's falling out. Come on, iPad. Come on. Oh, thump. I love that thump sound. And here it is iPad Pro in gold. So, as much as is possible, I will try to keep this in focus. But let's pull the plastic off. iPad Pro. Woohoo! It's gold, it's so gold. And actually my iPad Air 2 is also gold, so um, I guess that shouldn't be anything too new. Um, if I just compare the uh, gold of the iPad Air 2, it is actually look, looks like a slightly different shade of gold on the iPad Air 2. But obviously you can see that the cameras are different here. It's a little difficult to tell, but it does say iPad in a slightly different font. This is the iPad Pro. And if you can, just compare that with the word iPad. It's slightly bolder on the iPad Air 2. Now I think I can understand why um, tech enthusiasts, tech websites, and all the uh, the regular, you know, I thing reviewers, they're not that excited about the um, iPad Pro 9.7, and that's because, well, it does a lot of things that a lot of other devices have already been doing, like, you know, having a proper keyboard attachment and being able to use a pencil. Okay, we know that a lot of other devices could do that, but the experience is just flawless on the iPad, um, you know, I've got the iPad Pro 12.9, you can see just how how mehusive these devices are and the drawing experience on this one is just perfect it's just so so good and to be able to have it in a smaller um, package so that I can actually you know take it places actually take some notes um, so often I want to take notes on the iPad Pro uh, but I don't want to bring this large device to a cafe I just want to have it about this size so I can just take some simple notes so very excited about having this the camera is going to be so exciting to test out. 4K, it's got the True Tone flash, it's got the, um, I think it's called True Tone or something tone screen, which is going to like change 
uh, as we use it. iPad Air. I mean, Air. <laughs> I just called it Air. iPad Pro 9.7. Oh, and here's really exciting stuff. So I have been waiting like six years for Apple to do this. It is stereo speakers on an iPad Pro. So on the iPad Pro, you actually have speakers on both sides, which means that when you are using the device like so, you'll actually be able to um, have sound coming out the left and the right side. So essentially before with the iPad Air 2, you would just have the sound coming out the uh, left side if you were holding it like that, or the right side, and it would be um, stereo, but it would only be coming out, um, you know, in one side. It would only be stereo if you were using it sort of like this. Anyway, the new version has speakers, you know, tops and bottoms, which means that when you're listening in portrait, you will still get left and right separation, and it's much wider separation than before. And uh, at the bottom, you know, you've got these... In fact, it looks like the bottom speakers actually have more holes than the um, top. There's actually kind of less holes and they're kind of more widely spread because I guess people assume that you'll get a better stereo separation when you're in normal portrait and obviously you'll get really good stereo separation when you're using it in um, landscape mode. Ah, <sighs> so excited. So I don't actually have an iPhone 6 or a 6S so this whole camera with true tone flash and all that is kind of kind of new for me so I'm very excited about that but wow being able to record HD video in 60 frames per second which is what this video is right now is going to be just immense because I mean, a lot of people are not using 60 frames per second. I find that it looks a little more realistic and a little bit more like you're in the room with the person. But even if you don't use 60 frames per second on YouTube, you can use it for um, slow motion. And if you change 60 FPS video to 30 FPS, um, you can actually get, you know, 50% speed reduction on your video and it just looks super smooth. It's going to be amazing. In fact, I think it has a slow motion, uh, you know, like the iPad Air 2, it has a slow motion mode built into it anyway. Ah, oh, it's so exciting! Don't forget, also, it's got the smart connector on the bottom for that uh, keyboard attachment and other special accessories that uh, Apple may choose to make in the future. So the first thing I want to do before I even switch it on is I want to try out my uh, smart cover and uh, silicon case, which I got the uh, yesterday. I actually made a vlog video, if you're checking out, I've made a new vlog channel so that you can see see, um, you know, just more casual stuff, stuff that, you know, as and when it happens, uh, things that I don't really have time to edit will be going on the vlog channel. So this is the smart cover and this is the uh, silicon case. I will be unboxing this as well. The iPad itself, the shape hasn't changed dramast dramatically, dramatically, uh, but it does have this larger camera hole. I'm going to put the uh, silicon case on like so. Obviously, it's a perfect fit. I am a massive fan of official accessories. I can't stand when um, you buy like slightly cheaper accessories or even sometimes more expensive and they like scratch your device. It's just the worst. And uh, the reason I went for blue and yellow, as I mentioned in my vlog the other day, is that it kind of reminds me of the Indiana Pacers. Go Pacers! So I'm gonna click it on one, two, three. Nice, satisfying clunk. Uh, this is not magnetized on the iPad Air 2, so I tried this. This case, this uh, smart cover, on my iPad Air 2, and it does not magnetize, it would just kind of um, flap like this and not actually stick. But now that it's with the iPad Pro, which is the device it's actually meant to be used with, it um, does click, which means that the magnets are in a different place than they were before. Wherever the magnet was placed uh, in the iPad Air, Two, it's now in a different position on this iPad Pro. So first things first, let's go ahead and power on iPad Pro. Oh, it's turning on, but it's not in focus because I forgot. Come on, boot up. You can do it. I believe in you. Hello, hello iPad Pro. I'm going to set it up and then I'm going to turn it onto camera mode so I can show you what it's like to video uh, with um, autofocus. Today's test subject is Azunyan. Now what we're going to do to make sure that we're in focus is I'm going to actually move her away from the camera and we're going to see just how fast it changes focus and it's going focus and I'm moving away and focus. So you're looking at sort of, pr it's pretty fast autofocus. I would say it's much faster faster than one of the old school, um, you know, Sony camcorders. I had a Sony camcorder which I used for a lot of videos and if I move slowly like this you can see that it is staying in focus pretty much the whole time. I'm not sure how close I can get. I think I'm getting pretty close here but I think we're okay. Yeah, we can't really focus that closely but I can get about here. Uh, oh, in fact, I can get, can I go any, even closer? 
Um, it's a little difficult for me to see, so I'll have to review this later, but um, I reckon you can get fairly close, but I think for safe focusing distance we're talking about here, because this is probably the same camera as the iPhone 6S. Um, you could never do this on an iPad before, even this giant iPad Pro 12.9 inch device. It does not have the 12 megapixel camera, it only has a, I think it's 8 megapixels, and um, this camera here on the iPad Pro 9.7 actually has a proper 12, point, uh, a 12 megapixel camera plus autofocus, which is just so impressive. So really, really, really happy with this. <laughs> I'm just having too much fun uh, playing with the focus. I'm getting close in focus, far away. Who knows if I'm even uh, in the shot. You can't really, um, you know, uh, film yourself with it. One, because the angle's wrong. It's like facing down, which so I'm kind of having to look down, but it's actually uh, not so useful uh, because really I'd prefer to have it angled up, but I don't have a good stand for it at the moment. Um, so it's facing down. And also I can't review what's actually being recorded, which is a real, uh, which is a real shame. Next. Time Apple Pencil. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and uh, if you'd like, leave a comment as well. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, and of course, I will see you in the next Nihongo Gamer video. She's got magnets on her feet. First new Nintendo 3DS game, Final Fantasy 15. Ah! Someone pick up the phone. How about you, Cloud? It's shopping time! So I let her go in front of me, and she ran into the shop and she took the only copy of this, and I thought, no. Here it comes! Oh. It's like the yes. anime, but better! It doesn't say what this is, it just, it just, it's just a piece of plastic. I, I really think, I think, I think maybe it, it is a frisbee.